Hello and welcome. This is Rafi. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create and set up a blog with Doric Website Builder. So as you can see, I'm visiting Doric's website. Now I'd love to click on this login button. As I already have an account, it is going to take me to my account dashboard. After that, we are going to go to the CMS option as we want to create a blog. So after coming up on CMS option, we are going to click on this new CMS site. And they're going to show us some beautifully designed templates which you can preview, select and start customizing to provide put our content to make the site working for us. So I'd love to take you to the bottom of this page and after that I'd love to select the base template which is the minimal one and I'm going to walk you through the step-by-step -step process on how you can start posting your blog posts, how you can customize your blog post template and etc. how you can add sidebar to the blog post template. So the blog will look professional so i'm going to click on this select button right here after that we have to provide the cms project title or the blog project title so i would love to give a name let's say tutorial uh, for blog creation and i'd like to give a domain name here let's say tutorial for um, blog creation after that, let's click on create. We are going to get the subdomain based website, which we can share with anyone so that they'll be able to visit our site. And obviously we'll be able to add custom domains as well. All right, so here we go. We are on the website dashboard. Now, if I click on this link, or if I share this link with anyone, they will be able to visit our basic website, which is, which needs some work, obviously. So I'm going to show you how to customize all the information, how we can make it our own and so on. So I'm going to cross this out. After that, let's talk about these welcome things. So as you can see, we have got the welcome message from the Doric team, hi. And after that, we have got this create your new post to start creating blog post. We are going to talk about this later. So here we go. We have got, if you want a walkthrough on how to use Doric CMS, you can simply watch this guide. And if you have already got a static website and you want to move the site into Doric CMS, then you can watch this guide to learn the process and here we have got uh, website builder tutorials as well all right and after that we have got some key features i'm going to cross this out after that we have got the key features blog posts obviously you're going to be able to create blog post the blog post and the cms is totally white label so if you're an agency you'll be able to create websites for your clients and you can give them a custom field they are not going to know that you built this website with our tool and you can basically um, resell websites right then i have got membership collaboration optimization for speed and seo for seo it is super after that you have got custom fields and collections and some other features right so let's talk about this one upgrade now so currently we are on the free plan but if you need you can simply upgrade to get all of these functionalities and if you need um, you can up upgrade for the business plan as well for all the functionalities available or the features uh, mentioned here right after that we can go to these posts where by default we have got three posts published um, so that we can start customizing the site and when we are ready we can start creating posts so at the very first glance i'd love to show you how we can create a blog post on doric so let's click on new post after that i'm going to give the post title so let's say doric blog creation tutorial all right after that let's copy some dummy text from um lorem ipsum and paste them here and we'll be able to format the text depending on our need so let's say if i click on convert to we'll be able to convert to list we'll be able to convert to quote heading let's say let's see which um heading we have got this one so if i click on this click to tune we are going to see this is h2 we'll be able to change it to h1 h2 h3 depending on our need right now let's say i want to make this text bold simple we can simply click on this bold or the b icon so we are going to get this bold now we can make it italic we can link this so that we can um, make it clickable whenever someone will click they will be redirecting or visiting a certain page which we are going to select and i have got marker i'm going to click in here so that we'll have a background color added here right just take a look now if I click on underline, it is going to be underlined. If I click here on this inline code, it is going to be inline coded, right? So I'd like to keep this as it is. Now let's say you want to add an image here inside this post. Simple. If I click here, let's click on this plus sign. After that, here, if you want to add text, we have got the option. If you want a list, you have got the option and some other options here available. So let's say um, 
if you want to uh, add an image simply click on this image icon after that you can select the image that you want to publish so or actually upload so i'd love to select this image as an example let's click on open and it is going to be uploaded here and it is going to be visible on our website and here we go we have got the image added now we'll be able to provide caption if we need but i'd love to keep this blank as of now so let's talk about these settings as you can see here we have got the post title from where we'll be able to customize the post title we'll be able to customize the post url or the slug then we can provide some specific uh, ex excerpt so i'm going to copy some text from here let's say this part copy and it used for seo purpose or optimization purpose on your website so i mean to provide the excerpt here after that you have got the post access if you want to keep it public let's select this option public but if you have got some members and if you have got some paid contents then you can select any one of these options so i'd love to keep it public after that i would love to upload a thumbnail image so let's click on upload after that i'd love to select this image as the thumbnail image so let's click on open it is going to be uh, uploaded here after that we have got some options as you can see categories and tags so to be able to use categories we have to create categories first on our blog site and then we'll be able to use them and i'm going to show you soon all right so after that we have got tags which we don't mostly use so i can simply ignore then i have got the seo settings for seo doric is powerful in the seo so yep, you can get this uh, you can use these features to uh, make it more um, SEO friendly make your contents SEO friendly so you can provide a custom title here you can provide a description you can provide your targeted keywords here which is going to be indexed on Google search console after that for Twitter card you can create Twitter cards here so that uh, whenever you will share any content on Twitter whenever you will share your uh, blog URL on Twitter it is going to have the thumbnail image the title and some contents so that it will be more attractive more uh, click friendly right so you can provide title description provide a custom image as well then you can select the card type summary summary large image and so on right after that we have got open graph for the facebook instagram or let's say whatsapp um, social media site so whenever you will post uh, your um, blog post it is going to be populated nicely on these platforms and it is going to attract more visit visitors on your site all right now let's say i am happy with all the settings that we have uh, got here now it's time to click on this publish button all right post have been updated successfully now cross this we can select we can even uh, publish the post from here as well so let's click on publish it is going to show us post updated successfully right so now if i go to post we are going to see we have got four posts created right now let's talk about the categories i'm going to add a category here for instance if i go here in this category option we can create a new category so i'm going to click on new category after that for an example the category name i will give a name let's say blogging as an option so i'm going to click on category after that let's click on new category again um youtubing another option so i'm going to click on category it is going to be added right now if i go back to the post if i click on this to uh, post after that if i take you here on settings we'll be able to select categories from here just take a look youtubing and blogging appear so as it is about blogging or blog i'm going to select blogging let's click on publish and it is going to be published all right now let's go back to our dashboard after that i'm going to ignore tags for now it's totally fine all right now let's talk about the design and pages but before i start designing the site before i show you how to design your blog post template uh, i'd love to talk about these options because um, it is going to be a small talk so here under this team member option you are going to be able to invite others as collaborators to your site so that they will be able to design your website they'll be able to add contents and manage your website on behalf of you under custom domain you'll be able to add a custom domain name which is going to be professional for sure uh, on your blog or website then from the settings we have got a um, few options here general and redirects and then the delayed site option and you can generate your website sitemap from this settings option and from here you can create a redirection so now let's talk about members um, you can if you have a membership website the members name email and other details will be available appear here after that you have got the membership setting you can um, if you have got membership content get it contents then you can simply use this feature design as you need 
and you can create the links here all right and then we have got the custom collections which i'm going to talk about in a future video so let's talk about the blog specifically now so i'm going to click on this design and page option so let's click on live no problem after that it is going to take us here on this site and just take a look the first blog post it is appearing here that we have just created few seconds ago or few minutes ago here doric blog creation tutorial so now if i click on publish after that if i let's say open up the website in a new tab if i click on this blog post you're going to see how our blog post is looking like just take a look we have got the title i am the person who created the post and the last updated today uh, 10 june 2022 then we have got the contents of the website here right then we have got the subscription form on the blog post page so now if i take you back to the home page of our website you can see if i click on load more it is going to populate more blog posts if i click on load more it is going to populate more so we can set everything up from our back end to show how many blog posts and some other options obviously so let's click on this blog post for instance you are going to see we have got the exact same style exam style uh, same uh, way how the blog post is appearing now let's say you want to add you want to customize this blog post template layout so that your blog posts will have a sidebar where you can provide your information you can get a subscription form you can get a contact form or let's say if you want a custom code affiliate links etc so how you can do this simple i'm going to take you back here on our builder after that i'm going to click on this page and from here we're going to find this post template so let's click on this post template option so that it is going to show us how our post template is looking like now what i'd love to do i'd love to customize this i'm going to click on this edit column option for this column so let's click on this after that just take a look we have got like 75 percent what it has taken we can decrease it to 60 percent we can increase more if we need so let's select 60 percent so that the white it is going to take will be smaller so that we'll have some space in the right side uh, more space obviously exactly so now what i'd love to do i'd love to click on this plus icon add new column after that i'm going to click on regular column then i'm going to click here on this edit column option and then i'm going to size this with 40 percent which is to um here this one right just take a look it has been placed here on the right side so we have got a sidebar now what i'd love to do i'd love to add a nested row so i'm going to click on this add element after that if i scroll we're going to find this rested row with column so i'm going to take the two columns here and after that i'm going to click on this edit column option and then i'm going to make it 100 percent just take a look how it is looking like so the next one i'd love to give it 100 percent now let's say i want to provide my information here so let's click on this plus sign i'm going to give a title uh, about the author about author and i'm going to make it to h3 or let's say h4 which is going to look nice after that i'm going to click on this plus sign let's add my image then i'm going to upload an image from my computer just take a look we have got an image but it is uh, too large so in this case i'm going to decrease the size from image width and height so i'm going to give it a specific width let's say 150 pixel let's see how it is going to look like um okay so maybe 250 pixel it is looking nice so i'm going to place this to center so let's go back here after that click on alignment to center and after that i'd love to place my name so let's click on this plus sign and then let's click on this heading or title after that i'm going to put ajharul rafi and then i'm going to make it to h3 and let's uh, take it to the center aligned and after that i'd love to write a brief about myself so let's take a text here we go we can simply customize this but i'd love to keep this as it is to save the time i'm just here to show you how you can basically customize everything of your website right so now i can simply add my social media icons if i need so 
let's say social icons we can take them to center if we need um, from okay so we can simply change the link so let's say external link and then we can provide facebook.com slash rafi so that uh, whenever someone will click on facebook it is going to take me to my facebook profile and same for the twitter i'll be able to change the link and for other social media links i'll be able to change the links as well so let's type out ajharul rafi and for the linkedin i'm going to select ajharul rafi as well so ajharul rafi all right all looks good now from icon styles we are going to um take it to the center so that it is going to look nice right just take a look how it is looking like now let's say you want to add a subscription form so that whenever someone will read your blog contents if you want you can capture their email address capture their name to send them emails and do lead generation so how you can do this simple i'm going to make a space uh, actually i'm going to give a space in between the columns here you can see we have got this inner column here which is containing my information now i'm going to click on this edit column button after that from styles i'm going to give a margin top to 50 pixel and just take a look we have got a gap and if you want you can basically change the background color of this column so let's see uh, from background we are going to change the background color to this and after that i'm going to give some padding here from styles let's say 20 pixel or 15 pixel top 15 pixel top and bottom and let's say 30 pixel right and left just take a look how beautifully our contents are being aligned now i'm going to do the same i'm going to take the okay let's keep this as it is now i'd love to add the let's say subscription form so let's click on this plus icon after that we're going to be able to find the contact form if you want to show our contact form so that people will be able to send us email send us message we can simply add it here right but i'd love to add the subscription form so let's click on this plus sign after that i'm going to scroll so that you're going to find this subscription form here so let's click on this after that we'll be able to specify if we need the first name email address and other stuff so i'm going to specify them from fields i love to click here on name fields and i'd love to select or um, enable the first name so that i'll have the first name field and after that from form style i'm going to take them to vertical so that they are going to look nice and then i'm going to give some gaps all right and after that i'm going to click on the button text and style from here i'm going to take it to the center just take a look how it is looking like so now if i click on this edit element you'll be able to see the services you can select email of to pass mail alert convert kit send in blue and other options to select put your action url connect the service so that whenever someone will provide their email address and name you will uh, get a lead and then you can automate the process of email marketing so now if i click on this save button now our template is saved now if i take you back to our let's say home page or let's say let's click on publish if i visit the website and after that if i click on doric block creation tutorial just take a look we are going to see the template we are going to see how beautifully we have customized the block template now i'm noticing that this has taken a large space so in this case i'm going back here and let's go back to the post template we can basically customize as we need so uh, we have got the freedom so i'm going to make it to let's say only 25 percent and here this one let's keep this as it is or we can even increase the size to 75 percent we have got now 100 percent 75 here and 25 percent here and we can decrease the size decrease the padding stuffs from this so let's click on so that it will look nice just take a look top and bottom and we want only 15 pixel left and right just take a look we are getting a nice look now right so this is basically how you will be able to customize your uh, website if i take you to the home page and if i visit any other blog post from this site let's click here that's visit the first blog post you're going to see we have got this default text we have got this sidebar where we can even put our affiliate links as well so this was the way how we can customize blog post template all right so now let's learn how we can add a blog page option here 
on the menu bar so that whenever someone will click on the blog item they will be able to see all the blog posts available on our website and from there they will be able to start reading contents so let me take you here on our home page after that at the very first things uh, glaze i'm going to save this navbar as in um, symbol so let's click on save as symbol after that i'm going to give it to navigation and let's click on save so that whatever change you're going to make here it is going to be uh, will be able to add this navigation menu to all pages and all the change will be appeared on all of the pages right so which is going to save us time so i'm going to change this uh, layout here so i'm going to click on this edit column i'm going to give it 100 percent width and here we go how it is looking like now let's click on this after that we are going to click on links from here i'm going to create create let's say home page home then i'm going to create um about and i'm going to create blog page so obviously the home page is going to be our the home page so in this case we are going to select home page from here and for the about page sorry not from here for the about page we can select the link to page and then we have to create a page for about and then customize it and then we can select this from here so we'll do this later but now i'd love to work with the blog page so i have created the menu here now it's time to create a new page for blogs so i'm going to click on this page option after that let's click on add new page then i'm going to give it a name let's say blog and you can simply change the slugs if you need let's say blogs or blog you can skip as you want so let's click on save after that i'd love to click on this edit icon after that i'm going to going back to links and from here under this blog we are going to select from external link i'm going to select to page and the page is going to be blog now if i click on publish and if i visit the website we'll see a blank page on the blog post because we didn't add anything on this page yet so now let's add some contents let's populate our blog contents using the cms row so let's go back after that i'm going to the blog page from here so i'm going to click on add new section after that i have got a section symbol which is the navigation so i'm going to click on this just take a look we have got this element added right now it's time to take a new section so let's click on custom section i'm going to take a regular section and i'm going to give it a name uh read or let's say blogs blog posts all right and we can simply customize this we can take it to center and let's keep this as it is now i'm going to take another section or let's say a new row here so let's click on add new row below after that let's select cms row with column so i'd love to show three posts on each um, each row so i'm going to click on this three column after that they are going to ask us to connect a database so we are going to have this configuration menu here so let's click on the data source we are going to select posts after that now we are going to click on uh, it's time to add or populate our blog elements here so let's click on add element i'm going to get the heading of the post so let's delete this after that we are going to select post title just take a look we are seeing all the post titles from all the posts appearing here so let's click on it we are going to customize them to make them look better after that i want the thumbnail image so this is the post title so i want the thumbnail image so let's select image let's select add cms fields i'm going to select thumbnail image so that all the posts will have their uh, respective thumbnail image although you are seeing two thumbnail images similar because um, they are actually duplicate contents all right so now after that i want to show some excerpt of the blog post so i'm going to click here let's click on text then we are going to remove the default text we are going to click on add cms fields from here we are going to click on excerpt just take a look we have got the respective um, excerpts added on the post now one last thing i'd love to add a read more button so that whenever someone will visit this page if they love to read any of these blog posts they are going to be able to click on the read more button so that they will be uh, landed to that article so i'm going to click on this plus icon let's click on regular button i'm going to type out read more all right and i'd like to keep this styling as it is i don't want to waste time you know, these are very basic thing you can customize everything as you want so now after adding this text what i'd love to do i'd love to take you a bit down 
and after that you're going to find this bottom link oh, sorry button link and i'm going to select the link from here link type we're going to select cms item slug so that they will be connected to our blog post so let's click on from url we're going to click on add cms fields let's click on slug after that we're going to cross we're going to click on publish and now if someone visits our website let's say from the home page they're going to see this thing now if they visit on our blog page they're going to find all the blog posts appearing here now if they click on any of these links they're going to be able to read the respective uh, blog post just take a look which have this uh, subscription form as well so let's go back and let's go back again to the blog page after that we're going to select this one read more just take a look right now i'm noticing an error here it should have our navigation bar on the blog post page so we are going to make the change i'm going back here after that i'm going back to the post template after that i mean to delete this uh, section from here and uh, okay not deleting i'm going to add a new section so let's click on add new section after that from section symbols i'm going to select navigation which is going to be added here but i can simply drag this section to the top and just take a look now if i click on publish let's visit the website again okay no problem oh, okay so we are on the blog template page so it should not um, get into the page so i'm going to visit the home page of our website after that if i go to the blog page we're going to find all the blog posts and from here we'll be able to go back to our uh, home page if i let's open up the post we'll be able to go back to our home page about page and all of this stuff so this is how you can create a blog using doric although these designs are not looking good but i believe i was able to show you the way how we can customize everything uh, step by step so i believe you have found this video helpful but if you have got any further question or if you need my help you can ask me by commenting below and subscribe to my channel to get more helpful videos in the near future and if you have got any question regarding doric website builder doric website building then don't hesitate to ask me thank you so much for watching have a good day bye bye